the season preview of the High Valley University Volleyball. We're with head coach Marlon Sano. Coach, it's been an interesting three or four months for you here in the area. With you being new to the program, uh, tell us about your background and a little bit about your philosophy about volleyball right now. We, My background is I've uh, been coaching almost 40 years, about 40 years, and uh, at, at virtually every level. Um, I was fortunate enough to be one of the assistant coaches with the 1984 Women's Olympic team. Um, I've had some great opportunities since then at, at all the levels. I've coached some really elite level high school teams, won national championships in, at the club level, and uh, have done well collegiately, and we're just really blessed to be here at Ohio Valley. Has it been easier or tougher this year with only two girls coming back for you to mix the girls up a little bit? Uh, and then you have 10 overall on the ski roster right now. Right. No, not really. Um, would we have liked more to return? Yeah, but they that's of their own choosing. Um, a lot of them uh, were academic reasons, uh, changing of career intents and things. So, you know, we're, we're really pleased with uh, Casey Williams and Caitlin Farah coming back to us. And... Um, you know, the mix hasn't been that difficult, uh, and, and I think part of that is w in my recruiting process, you know, who they are as people is, is probably even a, a greater uh, focus and certainly entails a lot more time for us than even how skilled they are as a player or how good of an athlete they are. Cause it, it, you know, if they're not a good person, if they're not going to meet the, you know, the values of Ohio Valley, then it's just going to be a bad mix, and, and that's not something that we want here. Now, with those 10 you have a very diverse and uh, uh, roster with a bunch of cultures. You have girls from Columbia and all over in the United States. Has that been something – has there been a common theme with the girls so far that's in the two weeks you've been practicing? Yeah, they don't like me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, no, uh, um, it's actually been a lot of fun, and I, and I think that them uh, getting to know each other culturally, um, getting to know each other and spanning the, the language difference has been really good um, during our preseason. I found out, I, I didn't know this, but they were going back at night and just sitting sitting around together and talking to each other and translating back and forth. So not only have our uh, Spanish-speaking uh, student-athletes grown dramatically in their English skills, but our English-speaking uh, players have, have grown in their Spanish. Um, and we also have a, a, a Donna Lichten, Lichtendorf Donk from uh, Germany. And so they're learning a little bit of German, German as, as well. well huh? Sure, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so what has been your focus for fall camp so far? Uh, really, our, our focus has been a couple different things. Um, we, we've tried to find the balance between um, technical skill development as well as teaching our systems. And and that being said, with, with only 10, we really – have spent a lot of time focusing in on making sure that our players are are healthy and and can go every single practice and you know one injury and and we're really going to be in a little bit of trouble a little bit of trouble now sure. with your systems do, do you run the one setter or the two setters uh, just that's just my question here I throw at you real quick we my experience has been the teams that are always successful, that have won the you know Olympics, that have won you know national championships, world championships, club championships, they're all five ones. No one in, um, that I can recall has ever won a, a major championship at any level. Running a six-two, for me, it's more of a preference and something that I got used to. Um, with a five-one, or you know, if you find the right person to fulfill that setting role the the team functions very well around it and I, and I think probably the best analogy for a lot of football fans out there <laughs> that you know it's you know how often do you see teams shuttling their quarterbacks and the very few that have tried it I don't, I don't think they've been very successful the consistency know. is better than having different 
setters at different times. Absolutely. On the floor. Absolutely. And uh, most teams set goals. Has your team set a goal this year and, uh, or individually that they've told you or have you set a goal for them? There's been we, – we've had a number of different um, – meetings and and things going over uh, going over finding out who we are defining who we are defining then what our goals are so our, yeah absolutely our team have set goals um, off the court personal goals as well as in the classroom um, as well as you know on court performance level what we want to accomplish and uh, um, I'm really pleased that they're realistic, that they're measurable, and uh, that we can hold ourselves and each other accountable for those goals. But I'm not going to share it with you. Oh, exactly you're not going to share with are. us? Oh, that's not fair. Uh, one last question. Uh, what, in your eyes, do you have a goal that you think would be a successful season? I know you're not going to share the goal, but do you have it your, in your own head? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I think that – you know, one of the things that we want to establish is that we're we're going to be a, a program of excellence um, on the court, in the classroom, off the court, in our community. And uh, I know those sound, sound kind of nebulous and pat answer, but, you know, we don't really know. I don't know the conference. Um, I don't know who our opponents are, really. We'll find out. And suddenly we're going to do our scouting and our, you know, studying on our opponents. Um, I, I, I think that, you know, for us to go out on a limb, to be perfectly honest, I, th I think that our goal um, should be to finish, you know, I, I think one or two in our division. I, I think for us to finish in the top half of – not only the conference, but in the conference tournament. I think, I think that I would like to see a, I personally would like to see us finish in the, at least the semifinals of the conference tournament, if not in finals. Um, but, you know, I know our team, I, I don't know as much about the opponents, right. to be perfectly honest. So. Well, we've been talking to Marlon Sano with the preseason preview for the High Valley University Volleyball Team Coach. Thanks a lot, and we'll talk to you later on the season. Thank you. Thanks for the time.